Hello everyone and welcome to The Reading Alchemist. So today's video is going to be my TBR for the month of January and to first introduce this TBR, I am actually doing my first ever TBR board game and I'm really excited to show you guys everything. So this is my TBR board. Um, the game we're playing is called TB Alchemy uh, because I am the reading alchemist. I figured I would do a board game that is sort of based off of a couple other YouTubers video games. So this is mainly based off of G's from Book Grow. She does her TBR board game based off of the usual avatar the last airbender so this tbr board game is based off of full metal alchemist which is my favorite anime and the reason why my youtube channel is called the reading alchemist i am the reading alchemist so this is my tv show based search so i have a whole stack of prompt cards and I play with die, and every time I land on one of these blank spaces here, I get to essentially read off of a prompt card and then choose a book based off of that prompt, then fulfill it. I have a couple of other spaces in sort of on here that we should probably go over while I have it. So I have a D20 space, which is essentially create a list of 20 books and then you roll a d20 die. I don't have a d20 die, so until I get one, it's gonna be a random number generator for it. But instead of using like that list, I'm probably going to use my 22 books to read before 20, to read in 2022 list instead. Um, Star Jar is, I have an actual, like a jar full of origami stars in which I've written all of some books and I get my books from YouTube recommendations so every like book and stuff that I've gotten is from there so it's so all those books are in there and they're just waiting for me to be read if I've already read it before it's totally fine we'll just grab another one but a whole bunch of ending are black Hayate if I land on it is going to be a pet pick so essentially you lay out a couple of book choices for your pet and then you grab and then you grab treats put them on the books and then whichever treat the pet grabs first is whatever book you're going to read childhood is i have to steal a book from somebody else's tpr here on youtube um random is obviously random number generator generates a book so those are all the spaces when i get to here this you probably can't tell this space is a blood seal so if i get to here it means i get to buy books we'll do a haul i don't know how many yet i haven't really decided it's probably going to be at least six that i'll buy they'll have to be physically i can buy books for my tbr if i need to by then have to read it, but those six books will be physical reads to buy. And I usually only like buy books knowing if I know and want to read it physically, knowing based off the other books in the series, it's going to get like probably a four or five star and I want to tab it. So those are those books. Rules of the board. Let's go over the rules we're going to do a total of four spaces we're going to do a total of four rolls if i roll a double i add an extra book and eventually we'll make it here i might do it if i'm hitting this quickly we might do a couple of times around before i hit it maybe make it more like two to three months instead of every probably two months is what it's going to be um, if for some reason I do not finish 
that month's TBR, we will, of course, move back a space for every single book that I didn't complete, and that book will automatically roll over to the next month. So far, those are all the rules that I have. We may make more as I go on with playing it, but I'm very excited to do all of my TBRs using this. I've tried in the past doing both Mood Read and TBR, and honestly, it's gone well and it's gone horrible. Uh, this month in December, I didn't really have a TBR, and I think I've read like seven, eight books in December, which is really weird for me. Um, I did have, of course, some time off, and that's probably why. And it was honestly pretty, like, a pretty slow month in general, and I wanted to read. So we'll see what 2022 brings for me with this new board. So let's get on to the TBR game. Alrighty. Roll number one. I don't think in this it is eleven. It's eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. And if I do double, man, if I do that, we're gonna travel the board fairly quickly. But we're only doing four. And all right, so that was roll. And we're going to choose from the top of the pile, but make it a little bit easier for us. So I'll just do it here. And roll number one is a blank space because we need to get you a prompt card. And that's going to be Shao Tucker. Listen to an audiobook. Roll number one. We landed on a regular space. And the prompt we got is Shao Tucker, which is to listen to an audiobook. And for this prompt, I have chosen to read Every Heart a Doorway by Shannon McGuire. This, I'm actually reading this book for a readathon that I'm going to take part in in the month of January, which is the Be sure thon hosted by The Wild Sasha, who I am linking down below in the description box. This is essentially a readathon based off of the Wayward Children book series, and Every Heart of Doorway is book number one. I actually have already read this book before, but I want to like really get into this series again since I've heard it's really good. This book is, I'm going to be reading this book for the Portal Fantasy prompt since this book is essentially a Portal Fantasy. A Portal Fantasy is essentially a fantasy book in which essentially the main character jumps into another world using some sort of portal, and in this book the portals are doors. So I'm looking forward to read Every Heart of Dory by Sean McGuire. It's short, which is relatively nice. I'm really looking forward to reading this book, and hopefully we'll get it read then. Roll number two. Is a double, and that is two. One, two, oh no, one, two, that is a blank space. Six, 
So it's going to be a prompt card. Prompt for this is going to be human transmutation. Read a book with food on the cover. Roll number two brought us a double, and for this, we landed on human transmutation, and that is to read a book with food on the cover. So for this, I have chosen to read a fairly short book that I found and remembered, and that is um, If the Fates Allow by Rainbow Rowell. This is actually a, um, it's only a Kindle book. I'm very sorry as of this moment I can't get it physically and I'd like to since Rainbow Rowell is one of my favorite authors but I can read it physically. It's fairly short so it follows one of the characters that was in Fangirl which I read last year and really really enjoyed it. Five stars. So it follows one of them. It's I think it's a romance and based on the title of the book I think it's a Christmas romance. And for the Be sure thon I'm using it to fulfill the prompt of new release, since I would count new releases as any book that comes out within the past year. Um, so this definitely does fulfill the prompt of it being a new release. I'm very excited to read this book. It's fairly short at only 38 pages very easily easily read book probably will read less than an hour i'm very i'm looking i'm very much looking forward to reading this book roll number three and that is seven One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a blank space, and the prompt for that is going to be read a new to you author, read a new to you author book. So, a book that's by an author that I have not read before. Roll number three brought us Resin Bowl, and that is to read a new to you author book. So essentially a book that was, that's first time off, that's written by a first time author for me that I haven't read any other books from. And for this, I'm actually going to be reading the Illuminae Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Both of these authors are new to me. I'm looking forward to reading this book because because it's mixed media and mixed media books are technically very very fast book. I've heard this book is a like science fiction book and one of my goals for 2022 is to read more science fiction books because I tend to read more dystopian style science fiction, so I'm very much looking forward to reading this. I've heard this series is pretty great, and I think it'll be a nice introduction to Jake Kristoff's writing because it involves someone else too, so I am very much looking forward to reading this book in January. Roll number four, hopefully our second to last roll. That's three. One, two, three. There's a blank space, and our prompt for that is going to be Ishbal. Read a book with the person on the cover. Roll number four brought us Ishbal, and that is to read a book with a person on the cover. So for this, I have chosen to read If This Gets Out by Sophie Gonzalez and K.L. Dietrich. Uh, this is a LGBTQ romance uh, contemporary. So it definitely, the cover of the book I'm looking at shows two people. So definitely it covers the prompt to read a book with a person on the cover. I haven't heard very much about this book. I do know it's LGBTQ and that is one of my tropes that I really, really like. So I'm hoping to really enjoy this 
book. Um, I can't wait to actually dive in and read it. If it is an LGBTQ plus romance contemporary, um, according to what the description is, it looks like it might be a, basically about a, a boy band, which I'm all here for boy bands. I really, really enjoy boy bands, so I'm really looking forward to reading this book. And finally, roll number five. This is not a double. Oh, thank God. Not a double. Five. One, two, three, four, five. And there's another blank one. And that one is going to be bury the chopper read the shortest book on your tbr uh roll number five brought us bury the chopper and that is to read the shortest book on your tbr so tbr and one of the shortest books on my tbr is lumberjanes volume one so as one we're going to be really to fill that prompt it is essentially a middle grade comic adventure story set at camp. It may be LGBTQ+. I'm very interested to know if it is. I think it's set at like a girls camp. So I'm very interested to read this. I got the recommendation from this series from Jade from Jade Ray Reed. So I'm very much looking forward to reading that book. So that is going to be all of the books that are currently on for my TBR Alchemist. Um, as for the Be Sure Readathon, uh, so far I've only technically fulfilled two prompts so far, and that is to read a new release, which is going to be If Fates Allowed by Rainbow Ralph, and My Portal Fantasy, which is Every Heart a Doorway. So now I have three books. So you know, I'm going to be on Team Fairyland. Even though I haven't read the other books, the Fairyland team is for me. I have a lot of ties in the real world, too, with like fairies and stuff in general, and it would kind of hurt to do the other prompts. So I'm going to be on Team Fairyland. I'm very excited. So since I chose new release, I can either go with In the Woods for my prompt, Friendship, or Face Slash Fairy. And I have chosen to go with In the Woods. So this is a book that's set in the woods. And for this, I'm going to be reading The Hazelwood by... Melissa Albert. I haven't really heard that much about this book. I do know it's set in the woods. I'm pretty certain this this girl, she's told all her life to not go into the wood where near where she lives called the Hazelwood, and I'm guessing she definitely. So this is going to be my book set in the woods. And the next book, because I chose in the woods, I can either go with Col for Colorful read some tales or magical world for this i went colorful and i'm going to be go with the ten thousand doors of january by alex yarrow i have i've heard very good things about this book it was basically on booktube a lot last year or the year before in a couple of months in january i think it also is another portal fantasy prompt and i think it's one of those where it's a book about books and i love books about books i think it's set in the library too i'm very and anyways i'm very excited to read that book. I've heard it's very lyrical and I do really like my lyrical books where I can get lost in the world. So I'm very much looking forward to reading that book. Because I chose Colorful, I can either go with Mental Illness, Book with Mental Illness Representation or Five Star Prediction and I went for Five Star Prediction and my Five Star Prediction that I have chosen is Night Shadow by Sebastian de Castell. This is the second book in the Great Coat series, the first of which being Trader's Blade, which I read in May, and that book was a five stars for me. I've talked about it before. I really like Trader's Blade very much. Um, it's very adult, gory, but what really put it for me over the top was the wit and the humor, and I'm hoping this book has a lot more. There is going to be a sort of book 
sort of sequel, sort of set in the same universe that comes out later on in 2022, and I'm hoping to read it in 2022. It's not on my 22 books to read in 2022 list, but I'm hoping to read it in 2022, actually, and actually finish out the Great Coat series. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to those books, and with that, that's all the books that I'm going to be reading in January. Here are my two physical books that I am planning on reading. That's exciting. I haven't done a total page count. Um, I will actually do that at the end, at the end, because I may, may add some extra book, but I'm reading a lot of short books this month. Night Shadow is probably going to be my biggest book, if not Illuminae is, and a lot of whole bunch of small books. Look forward to all the weekly reading vlogs and stuff in my other videos that I'm be hoping to post in January. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe for more bookish content from me. Um, down below, you'll, you'll be a link to my Goodreads account. Feel free to follow me on there. I will be hopefully creating a Instagram and stuff in the, f in the future, as well as all of the bookish creators that I mentioned in this video as all the books that I talked about in this video for you guys to check out if you feel like doing so um comment down below what you guys are planning on reading in January and if you are participating in the be sure a thon um if you feel like not commenting anyways comment a door emoji for the be sure a thon um, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and remember, we are the one within the all.